Welcome to Dead End Road. This is a short horror game. I don't know anything more about it than that. I haven't played it, just to make sure that I don't spoil anything since it's so short. And also, I'm playing this on Halloween night, so it's especially cursed. Let's get spooked, I hope. So you finally arrived, my dear. You can come closer if you would like. Perhaps my appearance frightens you. Yes, it does. There's no need to be afraid, child. You see construction on the ritual, yes? That is what my visitors usually ask of me. It is true that the ritual has power. The power to grant one wish. But it comes at a terrible cost. I can see you will not be dissuaded. Go perform the ritual, then return to me. And bring with you the following. A book, a bell, and a candle. Can you remember that, my dear? So then, do you still wish to proceed? Very well. Then we shall begin. Perform the ritual with the directional input. Okay. I'm pressing left. Let's stop doing that. Okay, right moves this other orb. What about down? Down does nothing. Up. Up moves the third orb. Is that close? They're doing something. Oh, I guess I make that particle when they're in the right place. So two of them are in the right place. The third one is not. There we go. What are those things? your request of the dark powers oh I can actually type bring her back So this is what I've seen in screenshots. You drive. <laughs> this is really cool looking. What am I driving to? Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's just a ghost. That wasn't a pedestrian. That definitely was not a pedestrian. <laughs> you suffered a fatal car accident, would you like to restart? <laughs> yes, I would. I wasn't sure like, how the damage worked in this game. So there's a number in the bottom left. Is that like gas remaining or is that a GPS type thing? I think it's a GPS type thing because going backwards makes it go backwards. So we're heading to something. 
We just need to make it there. Without exploding. Ugh. God, those lights made it look like there was something about to hit me. I love the aesthetic. It's real good. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. You're driving on the wrong side. Okay. Uh, damn. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's get used to the, the the controls. There's some special functions I saw in the control menu. So one is the lights. Oh, that's the interior lights. Interesting. I guess I'll just leave this on. Oh God, there's a radio. Oh, there's, there's a map. And on the bottom right, or top right rather, dead end road? Oof, Jesus Christ. Hmm. Start. There I am in the top left. <gasps> oh! Okay, we're good. We're good. And windshield wipers. Might be useful if something sticks to the windshield? Yeah. Okay, I don't know what the hell that is. That was something bloody. That's a bloody chunk and there's a body in the road. I did not turn the radio on. It came on on its own. I'm really scared to floor it, because it's super dangerous. I can honk with spacebar. Whoa. I wonder if honking actually does anything? Makes people get out of the way or just for my own comfort. Almost there. Ah. Averyville. Turn left. So what happens when we get there? I wonder, do we have another, like, sequence? Or do we just have to keep driving until we get to the very end? Is there a whole, like, inventory, cash, uh, like, resource management kind of thing? It says I've got a hundred bucks. Welcome to Averyville. The following shops appear to still be open. Supermarket, mechanic, pharmacy, pawn shop. Thank God some places are still open at this hour. Right, so we gotta live. We gotta live all the way there. Uh, well, first thing, I think my car has yellow health, so... Probably should repair it. Jesus, hi. The following actions are available. Car status, repair, buy fuel, upgrades. I don't like this guy's attitude. I don't like this guy's face. 42% damage, 73% fuel. That's fine. I don't think I need fuel. No upgrades. How much does it cost to repair? 31 bucks. How do I get money, though? Am I just going to 
find money as I drive <laughs> through demons. Okay, well, let's definitely buy repairs. I wonder why all this stuff is happening as we try to get to the end. I mean, what we wanted hasn't happened yet, right? Are spirits trying to stop us from getting what we want? Is this something we have to endure before we prove ourselves that we're worthy of the gift or something? Because we were scared out of the house when we did the ritual, right? We ran out of the house and into our car. Uh, no, not fuel. Upgrades. Supercharger. Increases vehicle top speed. I definitely don't want that. Hell no, I don't want to go faster. I'm already terrified as it is with how fast I'm going. Vehicle acceleration. Eh. Uh, reduces all collision damage by 50%. That would be huge. Reduces fuel consumption would be pretty nice, but I think by far the most important is the bull bars. Let's get that. And I'm just curious what kind of stuff I can get at the other places. Like, do I need to eat? God, none of them have eyes. Such a disturbing aesthetic. Soda, chocolate, scratch card, cigarettes. A buck. Reduces stress by a tiny amount. Three bucks. Reduces stress by a minor amount. How do I know how stressed I am? Cigarette. Reduces stress by a small amount. Scratch card gives a chance to win big money. <laughs> Wait, don't tell me like that's the way you make money. Okay. Oh well. Let's get some chocolate. I assume it just gets used automatically. Now what about the pharmacy? Do we need caffeine pills to stay alive? Stay awake? Health check. Stress reading at dangerously high level. Well, that's not surprising. Quaaludes. Fully reduces all stress. Oh. Can't afford that, though. Diazepam. Reduces stress by a large amount. Can you just get that over the counter? Don't you need a prescription? I wonder if the more stressed you are, the more things happen out on the road. Oh, you're the creepiest. You don't even have any light on your face. Cowbell. Matches. Collar bell. I don't still need the... The... What was it? The book? The bell and the candle? That was for the ritual, right? That we did? More cowbell, never a bad thing. Okay. Classic box of matches. Collar bell. The sort you'd see on a cat collar. Do I have any reason to get these things? There must be a reason. There must be. Let's get the collar bell. And matches? If I do need a candle still, then, well, I'll need to be able to light it, right? Back on the road. Oh, it doesn't even tell you where you are. You just gotta kinda pay attention and know. So we're at Averyville. Where are we actually gonna be heading, though, for our next stop? Because it looks like there's a T, right? Depending on which way you go out of Averyville, you're gonna go to North Hollows or Droughtshire. But which way am I going? Okay, well, let's go. Oh. Oh, here we go. Okay, well, definitely North Hollows. Droughtshire kind of puts me backwards. Oh, 
Ugh. Oh my god. Yeah, there's these puddles on the ground. Ooh. There's those like puddles in the ground that if you touch them, I think it hurts the. Yeah, hurts the car. Is that a hitchhiker? I think there were bodies in the back of that van. I turned it on that time. Indeed, I have not magically gained money, so... Yeah. How do you get money? This place has a dark alley. Okay. Search the alley. Is that how I get money? I wish that I hadn't gone this way, it says for the dark alley. Let's search it. W whoa. With some trepidation, you enter the dark alley nearly as soon as you've entered. A local ne'er-do-well threatens you and demands all your money. You manage to conceal half from him, lost half of your cash. Well, shit. It's a good thing I had almost no money to begin with, so... Not much of a loss, really. What could I get at an antique store? Bible? Broken Bell? Lighter? Yeah, these two seem to be all... the things that they asked for. The Bible, the candle, the bell. So, I'm pretty sure I am supposed to get those things. Well, I have a... A bell, it's a small one. I have matches. So I need a candle and a Bible. King James edition, 17 bucks. I, that is too rich for me. Yes, so this place doesn't even have a mechanic shop. I couldn't even fill up with gas if I wanted to. So we're in North Hollows. Where do I want to go next? So it looks like some of the pathways have gas stations midway through. Yeah, like halfway through some of them, there's a gas station. And I guess whether there's a gas station at the town is just a crapshoot. Because that, it doesn't seem to say. Averyville had a gas station, or a mechanic, which could refuel, and there was no in there's no indication on the map that they have anything like that. Let's head to... Let's head to Wolk. Still doing okay on fuel, got about half a tank. Ugh.
Market pharmacy antique store. Oh god, there's still no place to get gas. Not that I could even afford it. I need money. I need to go into another dark alley or something. I don't know. I'm gonna have to buy gas soon. Um an antique store? I've got no money. There's little point to this. Oh, there's a scented candle. Seven bucks. That's an expensive candle. It's missing the clapper, the bell. I guess we just gotta go. Is there any point to head to the gas station? Right, we're in Wolk, so if we head towards South Hope, we will hit that gas station, but I got three and a half bucks. I know that's not enough for a full tank. Can you buy a partial tank, though? I want to go to South Hope anyway, because there's a lot of places that hit South Hope. It's got four, five, six roads leading into it. So maybe it's going to be a big city with lots of things to do. Lots of opportunities. Let's go to South Hope. fuel. Surprisingly uneventful. I like that. Uneventful's good. You're not real. I know you're not real. Did I just run out? No? I'm almost there, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. I can walk the rest of the way if need be. Yes, 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 yes. Am, am I there or not? Is it zero? Or is it? I'm not slowing down. I think I just ran out of fuel. T. 
Damn. Okay, wow. It seems like you pretty much just have the money you start with. Like, maybe there's a slight chance that you can get more money from a scratch ticket or a dark alley. <laughs> but I think I should just plan based on the assumption that the hundred bucks is all I've got. Which, if, if so, then I shouldn't get any upgrades at all unless I, I don't know, somehow come across more money. I think I should save it for fuel and for buying candles and books and whatnot. So, we're... Where are we now? I'm assuming it restarted all the way back to the beginning, right? Not just to the last part. We're full on fuel, so it probably is the beginning. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's plan differently this time. Jesus Christ. Thank God that sign, or the stopper thing, seemed to be pretty strong. Whew. Okay, I'm thinking I should refuel if ever given the chance. Because that's certainly not going to go to waste. So let's do that first. How's my status, by the way? 24% damage, 71% car fuel. Should I repair my car? Probably should do that. 18 bucks. God, it's kind of expensive. Um, I'm not going to repair it. Not right now. Refuel. No upgrades. Let's check the pawn shop for some baubles. Yeah, look at this. It's almost like it's taunting me. I, s I need all the stuff to do the ritual, but which one of these is going to do it, right? Like all these different bells, a broken bell, a collar bell, a normal bell, this uh, a Bible we found a while ago. This is an ancient text, a math text. Like which kind of a book would work? Seeds with an ancient power. I mean, that sounds good. Seething with power. Okay. That makes me think the collar bell wouldn't work. Too small? It's too small, too cheap, isn't it? Yeah. Let's move on. Should I take the same route? Nah, let's take a different one. Here's what we can do. Without adding an extra strop, stop, we can head to North Hollows like we did before, but then instead of heading to Wolk, we can head to Crow Road. So it'll take a little bit of a different path there, but it'll still be the same number of stops. Oh, 
Okay, that's a good start. Jesus. Whoa, what's... hold on. What's this? Rest area. Can I actually go there? Is this resting? <laughs> Is this what resting feels like? <gasps> okay, I'm rested. Trying to keep my nose as close to the center as possible so I can avoid any incoming cars. Because you can't turn very sharply. Almost there. Okay, so this place is new. Wait, did I head the wrong way? Droughtshire. Oh, this wasn't the way I was gonna go. Whoops. Um, yeah, so you know that plan? That plan's gone. <laughs> right, uh, well, since we're going this way, Let's just head along the outside of the map. I'll show you once you can see the map. Nowhere to get gas. Guess I'll just go to the antique store. Scented candle. Lighter would work. Matches would also work. I just need something to make fire. Unreliable, but cheap. Less reliable than just matches? I guess I'm not going to buy it then. I'll probably... There's going to be many more stops. I'll probably come across matches. Scented candle. Is that good enough? Mm, I'm going to leave it all. There's going to be many more stops. I'm curious if I should buy a scratch ticket. This game feels like... I, I feel like I'm cursed with such evil. What are the chances I would actually find good luck with a scratch ticket? It might just be a guaranteed loss. I'm gonna save my money. Yeah, I meant to go to North Hollows and then Crow Road, but instead I went to Droughtshire. Hmm. I'm not really sure why I did that. But since we're here, it is gonna be a longer road. There's no way around that. So let's just go to all new places. Let's head along the outside. So I'm at Droughtshire in the middle left. Let's head down to Holliot and then South Hill Folk. And then White Town, and then Knights Hill, and then to the Dead End Road. Yeah, go along the outside. See the coast. I don't think we're going to see much of the coast. Holliot. Holliot, Holliot. Oh, this one's a longer... Yeah, this is a longer journey. It's like seven instead of five or six.
My car's health is yellow. Whew, just barely avoided that person. Get some tunes going. Relaxing. Jesus, I've hit a lot of things. I think hitting bodies and stuff hurts you a little bit. Not much, but it's definitely gone down from yellowish to orangish. We're almost there. Oh, this is new. Tunnel. Fuck, I can barely see now. Thank God we're there. Please have a mechanic, please. No, they don't have a mechanic, fuck. Oh, I'm so screwed. I have like one hit point or something. If I hit anything, I'm dead. Do you think going into the dark alley could somehow miraculously repair my car? Do they have a repair kit in the antique store? Agent X already have that. Don't want any of that. Shit. Hmm. I'm desperate. I'm gonna try the dark alley. I, I doubt it's going to help me in any way. It'll probably just lose money or something or die. Get shot or stabbed in an alley, but there's no way I'm making it to the next place. Um, some local teenagers vandalize your car? Car damaged? <laughs> That's the opposite of what I wanted. It's going to be blown up now. It, I'm gonna get in the car and it's going to explode. Okay. Let's go die. It hasn't exploded. The smoke isn't coming out either, surprisingly. Oh, fuck. Oh, good, I can still look. Um. It's Red Heliot. Holliot, whatever it is. I guess I'll head to South. Hillfolk? Yeah. Yeah, so I guess the visual distance between these places does represent an actual distance. Like, if it looks like it's a really long distance between them, then they are actually very long. So the drive from South Hill Folk to White Town looks like it's exceptionally long. I probably wouldn't want to take that way. But we can head to South Hill Folk, and then from there to Tallford or whatever, just to make it a little bit shorter. I mean, it doesn't matter, we're gonna die anyway, right? I'm going to be extra careful. I'm not going to die on purpose. I'm going to make sure I avoid even puddles if I can. Those are really hard to avoid though, I can barely see them.
Oh no, oh no. Oh. My health bar is now gray, what does that mean? I didn't know there's a level below red. Just stop working. Fuck. Damn. This game's hard. <laughs> 